everyone, and welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. And I'm Dustin. And this is our non-spoiler review for Ambulance. Ambulance is directed by Michael Bay and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and Aiza Gonzalez. A bank robbery goes terribly wrong for Danny and Will Sharp, and in their desperate attempt to escape, they hijack an ambulance carrying a wounded cop and an EMT and are caught in a high-speed chase. It's really rare that we get to go and see a movie without seeing the trailer first, but that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened with Ambulance. What interested me was our main three actors in this, Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and Aiza Gonzalez, all really fantastic actors, all fun to watch. And, uh, you know, without going in with, sorry, without seeing the trailer before going in, I just thought, you know what? It's three good actors. It's Michael Bay. I expect a lot of action, a lot of explosion, like so loud that my seats is going to shake and I'm just going to have a good time. Yeah, somehow even not knowing the, uh, not really seeing the full trailer, I think I saw bits and pieces mm. of some kind of product, of some kind of um, mater uh, promotional material for this movie. And I understood the gist of it. I'm like, okay, one guy who desperately needs money because he's a good guy teams up with a bad guy for a bank robbery everything goes horribly wrong they're in a ambulance for some reason and they're trying to escape and that was kind of what you understood going into the and that's all I knew I actually did not know that it was Michael Bay who directed <laughs> this until we're actually at the theater and Wendy goes oh yeah it's Michael Bay and I was like oh really well, I'll say this. If you didn't know going in, you're definitely going to find out real quick because oh, his yeah. signature is <laughs> all over it, okay? And this is, I feel like it's like pre-Transformers pre Michael Bay. Yeah. It's like good, like gritty action that I will put this up here. If you guys are kind of not okay with those traumatic accidents, you know, EMT saving people accidents and, and like... Think of like a scale above what you see in like one of those med medical procedural shows, and you see the the trauma and the wounds and the bleeding. Like this may not be an easy watch for you because you do see some of those things. I'm not thinking. I'm not saying like guts and stuff hang out, but there's well, there's things a happening. lot people of stuff injured. that happens. Yeah, a lot of people get injured in this. But if going into it, you the only reason why you want to see this is for car crash porn. <laughs> That's pretty much what this entire movie is. 100% from beginning to end. Um, a little bit of shoot 'em up, bang bang here and there. Yeah, biggest but bank robbery. The biggest thing is car crashes, police cars, pedestrian cars, any kind of car you can think of somehow gets into a big crash in this movie. Well, we'll lay it out for you guys here. They do kind of set up your the story of the three main characters for you right before um the action kicks in and they do start you know with the action and they establish the emt and what her job is and i read somewhere that michael bay really wanted to pay tribute to the emergency workers the emts the the cops the the firefighters but i think specifically to the emt and that's why he kind of um was like how can i do this around an ambulance so props to him for thinking up this whole like giant bank robbery, car chase all over the city of LA, but to contain it within one single ambulance. And I thought, because ambulances are, they look big, but once you're inside, there's a lot of stuff happening, especially if you're carrying somebody who's wounded and really needs help. You know, that takes a lot of uh, cinema choreography. So they do set up, you know, um, Aiz and Gonzalez's character, Cam, and they set up um, Will Sharp and Danny Sharp, played respectively by uh, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. So... Once we get into that, though, I will say that uh, the action parts of it takes over and the story and the dialogue kind of falls to the backseat of it. And also, I don't really know how much I would agree with setup as opposed to just <laughs> slap on the screen going, oh, um, everyone's kind of a cliche. You know, the, um, the ex-military vet that is running on hard times because the VA won't take care of them. The cocky, slick, smooth-talking criminal and the hard-working, tra traumatized EMT. They are, they kind of, the characters all kind of fall into a slap sticker, a slap a sticker on it kind of stereotype of what you might think these characters are. And the dialogue that they are given doesn't really help at all. No, the dialogue, uh, I mean, I feel like the actors try to make them work as much as possible. I think especially mm -hmm. out of the three, Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> really made it his own. And I feel like when I was watching him, I felt like 
he was having a good time because he yelled a lot. And yes. he is the most unstable out of the three where it's, you know, kind of this whole bank robbery was his idea but then he's working for other people because you know when you do one job because you got to pay somebody else back and you just kind of keep doing it and just kind of mm -hmm. snowballs and it never ends like a cvs receipt so <laughs> so i can see where his mind is going and i feel like these these three actors kind of understood like where they needed to go but specifically yeah. i i i enjoyed a lot of jake jimmy hall's lines jake jimmy hall <laughs> kind of played that character that doesn't need to like take any kind of cocaine or speed kind of drugs because they're naturally kind of that high moving around and they constantly speaking talk and yelling really loud and then coming up and go come on man you need to join us and then I'm just you're just kind of like what what who is this character you really don't find out who this character is until about halfway through the movie when they kind of do an exposition dump on Jake Gyllenhaal's character. But even then, it wasn't really enough yeah. to, to give us even more of a backstory. Oh, we didn't really care. Yeah, so with that said, though, it, the I felt like the dialogue was a mess. Some of the scenes uh, cutting in between them by going back and forth, even though it is a high-speed chase type of a movie, it still felt choppy. What I really did enjoy, because it's a Michael Bay film, so I was looking for the explosions and all that. <laughs> Michael Bay does practical car stunts really, really well. Yeah. So those you're going to have a good time with. He used, it. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he used a lot of drones. In those the shots, shots Dude. I was like, there were moments that I actually got a little motion sickness because they were like flying in. You could tell that it was either on a helicopter that was able to do or this like maneuver, a wire. or a wire, or some kind of drone shot because it was flying in and out. And a part of me was like, whoa! Yeah, so it's a lot of it throughout. And a lot of shaky cam. Yes, yeah, a lot of shaky cam. Normally, I don't like shaky cam. I think they need a server purpose. For this one, I made an exception because. For the times that they used it, I felt like, especially a lot in the ambulance, when they get close to your face, I feel like shaky cams can be used to put the audience in the front seat of that situation. So they definitely did it. And it's certain, it, the whole, the whole, it's not the whole movie like that, but there is a lot of it. So, But for this one, I was like, you get a pass because it served the purpose of, for and me it's anyways. The style. But yeah, it's the it's style. It's the kind of style of the movie that you're going into. Um, one big problem that I really had was mm. that a lot of these uh, these very cool car crashes kind of came out of nowhere. You're kind of like, wait, how did that car get, where did this car come from? Yeah. How did he crash into this? It's kind of like you have the chase and then also big flashing movement and then big car accident. You're like, okay, that looked cool, but yeah. what what happened? Where did that come from? How's the, so it was, sometimes they were confusing and not, I mean, it took away a little bit from the coolness of the big explosion, the huge flip. Yeah. And a lot of these things were very... Con he didn't really worry about why they were happening. They were just going to do they it. They were just throwing these in. And a lot. there was just a lot about this movie that was really just thrown in there because they want to make this happen. When the everything goes wrong at the beginning of the, uh, of the bank robbery, it kind of is like, wait, why would you do that? Oh, it's because you want... The, the story wants the bank robbery to go terribly wrong. Right. So I was just super frustrated in all of these decisions because normal human beings would not make these decisions. Unless you're Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Unless you're Jake Gyllenhaal or you, you, you're in this movie. Yeah. With that said, uh, you know, they try to root it in sort of, you know, there's a lot of like cop language, there's a lot of EMT language. Uh, and I don't want to proclaim like I am an expert in medical, but I feel like sometimes when you watch enough medical procedurals, not that you become a doctor, because that is not how it goes. <laughs> That's not how real life works. You have to go to school for and get the degree for that. And there's a moment where they, you know what moment we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, in the back of the ambulance where you're like, there is no There's way no in way. hell yeah. you could do this. And just because you happen to know the lingo or you happen to have someone there who can guide you through it. M everyone in the audience was laughing at a very and serious we point. To. And I don't think I don't we think, were supposed to be. I don't think collectively be. as an audience we weren't, we weren't but it was, it was that sort of a moment. I will say in the many years that I've watched many of medical procedures, uh, and you see a lot of outrageous stuff in the TV shows where you're like, there's no way they do this like in an actual ER. And I could apply the same thing to the, but this specific moment, there's absolutely no way. There, I just, even to save a man's life, like I, 
because I think you end up killing the person yeah. with the things they did. When you guys see it, I think you'll you'll know exactly which part we're talking about. So, overall, the action is very fast paced. They want to get you in. They want to like here's your characters, here's your stories, here's where they are. And now we're going to get into the action of it. So if you're here for like a good action film, really cool shots, loud explosions, gunfights, uh, and things like that, that'll kind of get you, you know, your adrenaline pumping. Yeah, that it's a Michael Bay film. But if you're trying to look for any sort of dialogue, your your story, yeah, the plot. <laughs> don't really look for it. You're gonna have to overlook that in order to enjoy the film. Or realism. Or <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and give our rating for this one. Do you want to go first? Do you want me sure, to go first? I'll go first on this one. Honestly, I just I have a big problem with being able to do some have really cool things happen and then not be able to justify them to make them so unbelievable that uh, unless you're something like Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> so this movie is there's it just it, the crashes are good, but everything else is absolutely horrible from dialogue to plot to believability to why people would make these choices to certain character development moments. I'm going to say, unless you are a hardcore Michael Bay fan and all you want to go see is car crash porn, skip it. Don't waste your money. Just skip it. Yeah, I was actually kind of excited going in because, again, I really enjoy the three actors. And I was like, okay, Michael Bay, we're going to get really cool action. We're probably going to get some car stunts, you know. like, And they filmed this in L.A. because... Uh, that's where the story sets up. And I was like, okay, well, we live in L.A., so it's going to be cool to see how they shoot certain locations and certain prominent locations in L.A. I was like, of course, they're going to use this because it looks cool. Um, but overall, Dustin kind of has the same bullet points as I do. Actions, pretty cool. Those drone or drone or wire shots or whatever it may be, like the choreographed, choreographed stuff, looks really cool. The dialogue, I just couldn't with it. Uh, I tried really hard because I was like, I like these actors and they were they're working, uh, and I want to appreciate what they do on film. But at the end of the day, I or at the end of the movie, I just couldn't connect with it. And my uh, rating for this film is also skip it. All right, guys, that is it for our non spoiler review of Ambulance. Let us know in the comment section below if you've watched it, your thoughts on it, and if you know that moment that we're talking about. Don't forget to comment all that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.